Thanks for staying with us. I'm Laura Ingram in for Bill O'Reilly, bringing you live coverage of the dramatic George Zimmerman murder trial, which is now in the hands of the jury. As we await their verdict, law enforcement officials in Sanford, Florida, are appealing for peace in the event Zimmerman is acquitted. We encourage all uh, residents that uh, to live their lives normally. We will not tolerate anyone who uses this verdict as an excuse to violate the law. But just the discussion of possible violence has the liberal media upset. They're going bananas over this. Time magazine has a headline that's screaming, preparing for riots after Zimmerman verdict is racial fear mongering. Well, is Time magazine right? With me now uh, for your reaction is Chris Metzler, an associate dean at Georgetown University. And from New York, Rich Benjamin, a senior fellow at Demos, which is a center left think tank. Well, let's go to center left on this uh, first, uh, Richard. I I've got to say, uh, of all the things that Time Magazine, and I didn't even know it was still publishing, so I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, what Time Magazine has said in the past, this is w one of the ones that takes the cake. I mean, isn't that the, uh, the police's responsibility to make sure the community is safe? Black, white, Latino businesses are also secure. What's wrong with this? I read that piece, Laura, and frankly was quite patronizing. It's that same mentality that views black people and black men specifically as a menace that got us in the situation in the first place. Trayvon Martin is a menace. Part of the undertone of this in the media and in his trial is that he had it coming to him. So the patronizing tone of it is, watch out, everybody. You better behave yourself. It was completely patronizing, and I think that's what people are responding against. Well, Chris, my, my take on this is that, look, if something happens and the police hadn't appealed for calm, I mean, I guess that means Jesse Jackson is racist when he tweets that everybody should not, you shouldn't celebrate and you shouldn't riot. I mean, why did Jackson tweet that? Yeah, well, I guess he's racist. I also guess the black ministers in that area who are calling for calm, I guess they're racist as well. This is a ridiculous statement. And this notion that this is somehow fear-mongering is even worse. It makes no sense. Law enforcement exists to enforce the law. And what we heard was they said they will not t tolerate violence from anyone. They didn't say we won't tolerate violence from black people. So this is, this is really ridiculous. Uh, and, and Richard, the Obama administration administration itself, when this case uh, first came to the public's attention, Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. They sent down Justice Department uh, peacekeepers from the CRS, the Community Relations Service, inside our Justice Department to be present at the big rally for Trayvon, the Million Hoodie March, they were calling it, to be there just to be monitors and to see what was going on. They had badges, no guns, but they had badges and they were standing there, blue windbreakers. So, I mean, they were clearly wanting to be there and be present to make sure everything was okay. I mean, do, do you think that that's patronizing? I just want to say, who cares what Jesse Jackson tweets? Jesse Jackson has no elected office. He's not a police authority. This is something different when the law of police authority stands up and make this sentence. So whether I agree there shouldn't be any violence, but what Jesse Jackson and I say doesn't have the same impact as what law enforcement says. And so perhaps Sanford police may also want to say, going forward, if we, God forbid, find ourselves in this situation, this is what we might do better. How about a statement about that? So, and by the way, having mediators during the, the concern that the million hoodie march bought is not quite the same as law enforcement. Well, why with do you all need mediators? Well, no, no, no. Why the heck do you need mediators? If, if, if the, everyone concerned is just going to be peaceful, and I think they pretty much were peaceful yeah. at that event, why do they need mediators? Why did the Justice Department, that is the government, uh, Richard, that is our government, they felt the need to get involved. The because president, that was uh, a he known... didn't wade into the details, but he did make the comment about if I had a son, it looked like Trayvon. I mean, he didn't have to say that. He did. That right? was an I mean, existing assembly of people at the time. Right now, there's no existing assembly of people. There's simply a trial going on. So that's the difference there, is that you had an existing assembly of people, and there was concern, but now we simply have a trial.
And so, by the uh, way, well, I want to well, emphasize well, just it's not that but, we're but, calling but, for violence. We're, we're talking about how the police is using its authority again. That's my the only concern. The police is using the authority to do what the police is supposed to do, which is to take actions that are preemptive to protect the entire community. This notion that somehow by doing that, they're racist or they're making racist statements defies logic. I said it was patronizing. I never used the word exactly racist. I well, said it's treating black too, men defines as a menace. It's this mentality that codifies the type of vigilante justice that would chase down a kid even though you were told not so, to. Well, this so is, now this you're the jury. Not, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and the what is this, the critical race theory? The, the, I think the, the jury hasn't come back not critical race yet, theory. Right? <laughs> no, I it mean, hasn't come back. But well, I'm just saying, I, you know, I mean, yeah. and where's the assemblage Those, of That's people. the trial, but talking I'm, talking about? About, I'm talking about the statement that you're asking about that the police yeah, made. We got to wrap, guys. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Both of you, it's a, a complicated and a lot of, a lot of tensions here. but. I